Okay, now we're going to have a brief demonstration of portions of a MAT assessment. We're going to start with the supine portion. Here we're going to examine the client with gravity eliminated. So I will start by looking at any postural tendencies of the client, noting muscle tone, range of motion, and any orthopedic asymmetries. Particularly, what we're going to demonstrate now is determining how much hip flexion is available before the pelvis assumes a posterior pelvic tilt. So as we saw earlier on the pelvis, it's important to have a hand on a bony landmark, if possible, on the pelvis, and to flex the upper leg until reaching a point where the pelvis begins to tip. This is going to determine our seat to back angle. So on our model, I'm going to grasp the leg. Depending on the size of the client, you might need assistance. With my other hand, place this on the pelvis so I can feel that ASIS. Then I'm going to flex the thigh, keeping the knee at about a 90 degree angle because that's simulating our seated angle and begin to flex until I feel that point where the pelvis wants to start rocking backward. I don't need to go further generally than 90 degrees because then I know that there's enough range of motion to get this client to at least that seated angle. We don't want to seat someone at their full end range that's going to still tend to pull or push the pelvis into a posterior pelvic tilt. So I find that point of resistance, that point where the pelvis is beginning to rock and then back off a little bit and that becomes our seated angle.